name is Chris Wilson. I'm the author of the book, The Master Plan. The book is essentially about my life story growing up in Washington, D.C. in a very difficult neighborhood. And I lost some friends and family members. And eventually people came after me and I ended up taking a person's life. And I was 17 at the time, charged as an adult and sentenced to natural life in prison. While I was in prison, um, I fell into a deep depression my first two years there. And I knew that I was a good person and that I could turn my life around. And so it was at that moment I decided to go to my cell and I locked myself in there for about three days. And I wrote up what I call the master plan, which was I was gonna educate myself. There was some stuff that I wanted, like in life, uh, my dream car, food I wanted to taste again, places I wanted to visit. But the most important thing is I wanted to be free again, to like return to communities like the ones I grew up in, to create opportunities for people. And so I worked really hard for about a decade. Um, I got my high school diploma, I got a college degree, I started mentoring other people, and then around this time I had um, a day before the judge in court, and I just told the judge like what I went through growing up as a kid and watching my friends get gunned down and watching my mom be attacked. And I talked about how remorseful I was for what I'd done and then about my education accomplishments. And then I talked about what I would do if she would give me a second chance, about how I return to the community and create job opportunities for people um, that needed help and be a, a positive example. And the judge uh, reduced my sentence. And so I ended up spending 16 and a half years in prison and so I've been home about seven years now. I started several uh, companies that hired uh, mostly uh, returning citizens. And I've been working hard ever since. I mean, I learned a lot of things, but like things that stick out is that, you know, no one can do this alone. Like you need people, you need um, a support system. And so that's something I'm super grateful for, having people in my life that I can rely on, that, that can mentor me. And I try to do the same by mentoring other people. And so that's, that's one of the most important things is you can't do it alone. Um, and you should also pay it back by helping someone else out. I did learn that, the, you know, the system is set up, you know, to, for us to fail. I mean, I, I learned that. I also learned that in life, you got to take responsibility for your actions. And so there was a point um, during my incarceration that I just had to accept responsibility for what I did and for my life. And, and I knew that no one owed me. And so I just decided to work really hard. Um, so that I could be successful. And so that's some of the most important things I learned. I committed my crime as a child. You know, a lot of people make mistakes when they're young. And I learned that, you know, one mistake um, does not define who I am as a person. And so I would hope that other people will feel the same way. Like, there's a lot of people who made mistakes in life. It doesn't define who you are or who you could be. And so I, I just, you know, I'm remorseful for what I've done, but I believe that I could be successful and be a good person despite the mistake that I made 24 or five years ago. Regardless of, you know, if they've been impacted by the criminal justice system or maybe it's just someone who wants to come up with their own master plan just to turn their life around and do something different, I would just tell them, you know, find someone who's been successful you know, um, try to emulate them, uh, surround yourself with positive people um, and call on them and, and don't be afraid, you know, to, um, to reach out for help. Don't give up on hope, you know, always, always have it. I mean, you know, Tookie, I write about him in the book and he's been incarcerated since he was 15. He's been incarcerated 28 years and he hasn't given up hope. And that's a message I would tell the people, like, just don't give up. Just, just, you know, keep working towards your goals.